Now we're going to do page 266. Let's look at section one together and read the instructions. It says, read the poem, color the picture. Notice that's two sets of instructions that we need to follow. So make sure you do that, please. Let's look at the title of our poem, Jesus Risen Lord. That title is very clear what this poem is going to be about. And notice that the, t that the first letter of every word is capitalized. So two things that we need to remember. First of all, make sure that you pick a really good title. And second of all, make sure that your title has a capital letter at the beginning of every word. All right, let's read this uh, poem together. Jesus, Son of God, taught by Galilee. Jesus, Lamb of God, died at Calvary. Jesus, risen Lord, prays for you and me. Aren't you glad he not only died, but he's alive today? And that's how we can have life eternal is because he got out of the grave. And also the fact that he prays for me and you. I know that that's very comforting to me to know that Jesus actually prays for me. He knows what I need even before I know what I need. So again, that's just a very comforting thought to me that he prays for me. Now let's go to section two. Let's read the instructions. It says write 171 to 200 in the counting chart. And then it says color the odd numbers yellow and the even numbers green. So after you write the numbers, you're gonna make sure that you do the coloring. So let's look at these numbers that are on the board. You're gonna notice that they go from an odd number to an even number to an odd number to an even number all the way through, okay? So let's look at these numbers together. Let's count them. 171, 172, 173, 174, 175, 176, 177, 178, 179. Now remember, when you get to nine on an odd number, you're going to look at the tens place and change the number that's in the tens place to the next number. So it went from a seven to an eight. And now the pattern keeps continuing. So we went from an odd number to an even number, to an odd number. 181, 182, 183, 184, 185, 186, 187, 188, 189, again, an odd number. We're gonna look in the tens place and change the number in the tens place to a nine, and then continue the pattern from an odd number to an even number, to an odd number again. 191, 192, 193, 194, 195, 196, 197, 198, 199. Again, changing the number in the tens place to the next number. And since nine is the last number in an odd number, and we start all over again, so you're going from a nine to a zero. And then you're just putting this uh, the next number. Since this is odd, this is even. All right? So the instructions say now that you're going to color the odd numbers yellow. So let's look at the odd numbers. One is an odd number, so I'm going to color that one. I'm just going to circle them. Three is an odd number. Five is an odd number. Seven is an odd number. Nine is an odd number. One, again, is an odd number. Three is an odd number. Five is an odd number. Seven is an odd number. Nine is an odd number. And again, I'm looking at the ones place. One is an odd number. Three is an odd number. Five is an odd number. Seven is an odd number. Nine is an odd number. Now the instructions say to um, circle the even numbers green. So two is an even number, four is an even number, six is an even number, eight is an even number, zero is an even number, two is an even number, four is an even number, six is an even number, eight is an even number, and zero 
is an even number. One, I'm sorry, two is an even number. Four is an even number. Six is an even number. Eight is an even number and zero is an even number. Notice that I just had to look in the ones place to figure out what was odd and what was even.